the committee considered and investigated and made a decision on charge one being nepotism, illegal appointments, unlawful dismissals, and usurpation of the constitutional and statutory functions of the county organs. It also made a decision, Mr. Speaker, on charge number two, on incitement, bullying, vilification, and misleading campaigns against other leaders. Mr. Speaker, sir, charge number three was processed in the same manner, and it was about forceful entry into the assembly precincts and mobilization of unlawful riots against members of the assembly. And charge number four was violation of public finance management laws, charge number five. Finally, Mr. Speaker, was misconduct relating to nomination of county executive committee members. Mr. Speaker, sir. After the consideration and investigations, observations were made, conclusions were made, and by a decision of one after member after member, all the 11 members agreed and recommended to this House in this report that the charges, Mr. Speaker, none of them was proved or substantiated. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you, the chairperson of that special committee. Honorable senators, as you may have noticed, the committee has found all the allegations against the governor not to be substantiated. Therefore, honorable members, the procedure to be followed in this case is that set out in section 336A of the County Governments Act and Standing Order Number 84A, both of which provide as follows. If the Special Committee reports that the particulars of any allegation against the Governor have not been substantiated, further proceedings shall, underline, shall not be taken under this section in respect of that allegation. Therefore, what this means is that insofar as the matter of impeachment of the governor of Meru, that matter is now put to rest.